you'll constantly keep moving. You'll constantly keep getting better so that you are never stuck in one place for the rest of your life. You're going to find a way or make a way and you'll stop at nothing to get it. Stop bullshitting yourself. Stop telling yourself all this shit about why you're not winning in life. Excuses sound best to the person who's making them up. Any person who is determined to do something or wants something to be different, they will make it happen. And if you were really tired of the results you were getting, you'd change the things you're doing. Everything around you would change if you change the things around you. If you can change your mind, your ways of thinking, you can change your bank account. You can change your relationships. You can change your environment. You can change your lifestyle. You're not just on the receiving end of whatever life decides to dump on you. No, you're the one making the decisions. You decide every day of your life what you're going to allow and what results you're going to get. It's in every single small decision you make. And that's where most people fuck up. They lose the small battles, the death by a thousand cuts. They miss a workout and then another. They clock out earlier at work. They stop pushing themselves to learn in class. And before you know it, five years have gone by and they're more and more miserable and hate their lives. So right now you have a chance to never let that happen. Do not allow yourself to slide down that slope of complacency. You've got to hold the line on the seemingly insignificant things, watching yourself, observing how you're handling yourself, because the difference between the most successful people in the world and the people who are barely getting by is they have become phenomenal at disciplining themselves on a daily basis, forcing themselves to do things that are hard and don't come easy, holding themselves accountable for the actions they're taking and the effort they're putting in. Becoming disciplined means creating and sticking to a set of rules or standards, especially when it's easier not to. Is getting up for that run even when it's raining outside or continuing to work on your project when you'd rather be lounging on the couch watching TV. It's about making commitments to yourself and then following through with them no matter what. Discipline is often misunderstood as a way of restricting freedom, but in reality, it's the exact opposite. It's the key to unlocking your true potential. It frees you from the whims of momentary desires and places you firmly on the path to achieving long-term success and fulfillment. So you do it when you feel like it, and you do it when you don't feel like it. When you get up and feel refreshed and happy, you do the work. When you get up and feel like you do the work. When you get up and it's cold and dark and miserable and everything's going wrong in your life and your bills are overdue, you do the fucking work. You don't allow any room for negotiation when it comes to the execution of the work that needs to be done. It's an automatic process that you make happen every day of your life. No matter how many issues you're having, no matter how you feel, no matter the weather, whatever it takes, you just get it done. A champion doesn't give a sh about how tired they feel, how sore their body is. They rise to the level of the challenge or opposition. They understand that greatness isn't achieved in moments of comfort and ease. But in the times of struggle and perseverance, your mindset is what will separate you from everybody else. You think different. You study different. You work different. Stop having the debate with your lazy side. You know what needs to be done. So cut the crap and get to it. Every time you conquer these tasks, you're not just ticking off a to-do list. You're building a stronger, more disciplined version of yourself. When others are out there partying and having a good time on the weekends, you're grinding away, focusing on yourself and your ambitions. It's about an investment, investing in your future, in your growth, in the person you want to become. Every day spent working on yourself and your goals is a step closer to where you want to be. While the immediate gratification of going out might feel good, the satisfaction of achieving your goals is far more rewarding and lasting. So you got to stay focused on your path and don't allow anything to pull you off course.
You've got to start small. Pick one area of your life that you want to improve and focus on that. It could be anything from diet and exercise to studying or work habits. Set clear, achievable goals and then break them down into daily tasks. Every day, no matter what, make sure you complete these things. Discipline is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. Over time, what once felt like a monumental effort will become second nature. You'll notice that tough or annoying choices start to feel good. Choosing to get up early, working hard on a tough task, or picking healthy foods, these things start to feel like they make you stronger, not like chores you have to do. You begin to enjoy these challenges, understanding that every choice is helping you become more disciplined. You'll start to notice changes, not just in the specific area you're focusing on, but in all aspects of your life. Your newfound discipline will spill over, creating a positive domino effect that can lead to incredible transformation. It's the disciplined ones who achieve true freedom in life. When you're disciplined, you gain control over your time and choices. Instead of being at the mercy of whims or fleeting desires, you make deliberate decisions that align with your long-term objectives. It's that kind of focus and self-control that leads to real accomplishment and fulfillment. It frees you from the chaos of an unstructured life. It helps you manage your time and energy effectively, allowing you to focus on what's truly important. We're disciplined. You're not constantly reacting to life's distractions but proactively building the future you want. I know you just want to get five more minutes of sleep, just five more minutes. And I'm telling you, no, do not. Those five minutes are not worth bowing down to weakness, bowing down to procrastination. Don't do it. Be strong. Be powerful get aggressive get up and get up now this is where you win this is the first battle of the day this victory will establish your mindset for the rest of the day so do not be weak do not sleep in do not falter so easy to put things off so easy to say you're gonna do it tomorrow well i want you to reprogram your brain and tell yourself that tomorrow is not a viable option. Tomorrow doesn't work. You do it today. You get it done today. That's what you do. Too tired, too hungry, too sore, too hot, too cold, too whatever. Stop rationalizing. Stop making excuses. Stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth. Are you making yourself better? Are you making yourself worse? Are you moving forward or are you moving back? Are you making progress or are you stagnating? Make the decision, yes or no. Are you going to work out today, yes or no? Are you going to win, yes or no? Don't allow for any gray area in there. Get rid of the debate and you know the right decision to make. So go and make it. Hard work works. And you know what's great about our culture, y'all? The world's lazy. It's a good thing for you and me. Everybody will talk about it. Everybody will post about it. But nobody wants to roll up their sleeves and just don't get it. And so what that means for me, I don't have to be the most qualified. I don't have to be the most talented. All I got to begin to do is to apply myself. And by default, I'm going to separate myself from the crowd. The difference between people who talk about it and people who do it it's one simple word, application. They hear it, and they don't just hear it, they digest it, and when they digest it, boom, they do something with it. It's your dream. If you wanted to have it, get your butt up and make it happen. If you wanted to have it, rise and grind. If you set out and you say you're gonna do something, do yourself a favor and don't lie to yourself because that is the worst thing that an individual can ever do. You think you lying to your peers. You think you lying to your teacher. You think you lying to your coach. At the end of the day, when you look in the mirror, you lying to you.
You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. You have to see it when nobody else sees it. You have to feel it when it's not tangible. You have to believe it when you cannot see it. You gotta be possessed with the dream. Stop making excuses. Stop waiting for somebody to feel sorry for you. Yes, it's gonna be hard. Yes, it's gonna be difficult, but you can do it. You'll constantly keep moving. You'll constantly keep getting better so that you are never stuck in one place for the rest of your life. You're gonna find a way or make a way and you'll stop at nothing to get it.